Hey everyone, imagine you have an HTML element with data attributes. For example, here I have an element with ID electric cars. It has an attribute data columns with value 3, data index number, and data parent. Every attribute in HTML is a string. We can confirm a single data attribute by just asking should have attribute assertion. So let's say article with ID electric cars should have attribute, let's say columns, and it's a string value. Yep, it should be data columns. Okay, so we confirm a single attribute. We can similarly confirm that this element contains an attribute data index number one, two, three, one, four. Number. What if we want to confirm the value of all data attributes or you know majority of them? HTML has a special data set property. So right here we can say Instead of have attribute, we can say have prop. And we need to specify the name of a prop. It's the data set. Notice the assertion has passed. And because we didn't specify the expected value, right? If we click on this assertion, right? That's a subject. We can print later the actual data set. So let's say console log. Okay, so it yields an object of a special type DOM string map. Notice that all the attributes that are prefixed with data are included as keys in the camel case. So index number right, was converted to a camel case. We cannot say should equal right here and give an object with columns, you know, string three, index number one, two, three, one, four, and parent string cars. And that's because, first of all, JavaScript compares objects, not by reference, it should compare it by value. So even if you use deep equal, you still have a problem because the subject, the data set is dumb string map. It's not gonna be deep equal to a plain object. So what you want to do here after you yield the data set is to pass it through a site then. For example, you can stringify it and then JSON parse it and it will convert it to a plain object, which you can use deep equal with. If you want to convert and compare just some properties, you can use deep include and maybe just specify two properties that you care about. You can use plugins like SizePoc to confirm the elements and properties and types and values. Find this example and more examples of confirming the data set in my Cypress example site that I will link from the description of this video.